Here we are uh, breaking down the 113 double-A bracket, Johnny, and we have five state place place winners here. Starting at the top of the bracket, we have Max Murin. Uh, I have him getting out to the semifinals and facing another returning state player and, and Ferris Masai, albeit I think it's going to be a, a close match with Coy Campbell from our area, uh, the District 3 area. So I have Murin wrestling uh, Masai out in the semifinals. Who do you got in the top half? I actually, I like I like Max Murin up there, uh, up the top there, fifth last year at 106. Uh, yeah, that, that Campbell Frary um, quarterfinal, not sure who to go with there. I'll, I'll actually go, I'll go against you and I'll say Coy Campbell comes out, out into that semifinal to face Murin and I like Murin to get down to the final. You look down at the bottom half of the bracket, you have two returning placers from the 106 bracket from last year. Joe Lobeck was fourth in 106, Ryan Carlson from Brockway was eighth last year, 106, and I'm going to actually say, I'm gonna go with Joe Lobeck actually to get out of that half of the bracket and make it to the state final. I'll tell you what, you have a monster quarter here with with uh, Nolan Link, not a returning state placer, but very good from Penn Camera and Joe Lobeck. I have Joe Lobeck sneaking by Nolan Link, getting to the semifinals to face uh, Lime Mountain's Cameron Newman. Lobeck to get to the finals, Johnny T, I got Joe Lobeck from uh, District 3 polishing off his first state title. Yeah, I think he's got a good mindset right now. I think he's pretty confident. He looked really good at regionals. I'm also going with Joe Lobeck to win the state title.